Welcome to Warner, and uh, you can see roughly what we're trying to attempt to build at the moment. We're building on a little uh, front entry porch. Uh, lovely adapted slab has been poured on the ground here. That was done a couple of days ago, so ready for us to come in. And uh, yeah, we've got a couple of big laminated beams and some hardwood um, hardwood rafters, and we've got. Um, a hip end up this end, you can see along here, it's going to make a nice hip. And what we're actually going to be doing on this job is uh, matching it in. We're going to be putting roof tiles on this, so that's actually, as you can see, probably the next stage is fascia, gutter and some roof tiles. I'm going to try and match it in as close as we can to the existing house, so it looks like it was when it was built. So uh, stay tuned for some more we uh, got the tiles on the roof. Um, we've also framed out to do our fibro sheeting. You can see where that's going to go on our framework there. We've had the electrician out and he's uh, installed wires for us because there's a series of lights going in. Uh, we've also, Andy's just prepping the, uh, the blue board at the moment to make a matching pier to match the existing one here. As you can see, that's going to go there. That's going to get rendered and painted the same colour. And uh, if I can go back far enough, you can see how it's uh, starting to match in with the house. We've just got to sort out a few flashings now and uh, should have a completed yeah, project. Completed project. Uh, we've done our stage of work here. Uh, all that's really left to be done is a bit of blue board rendering and some painting. You can see what, uh, how well it actually merges into the existing house. We've got all the flashings on and all the fibro in. And uh, if you were none the wiser, you'd have thought that would have been part of the existing house. I'll just take a little top view for you whilst I've got the ladder set up there. You can see how nice that we've got everything working. You can see we've got our, our flashing cut in against the brickwork. And that just wraps on top of the, on the, top of the tiles there. We'll just, you can see the roof sweat. We've just hosed it down to check for any leaks. You can see where we've put the, uh, the hip ridge line in, that's all. got a special mortar to set that in nicely and uh, we've had to put flashing around the pier that was existing and that's how we've just transformed the roof from that existing roof just flowing straight onto our new roof into the gutter. I'll jump back down the ladder and uh, show you underneath We've just, uh, just got an uh, electrician to come and tidy up those wires and a bit of paint and that'll come up rather nice. You can see the little bulkhead we've had to make because of the big beam. You can see that from through here and uh, we've made that as neat as we can. And um, yeah, with a spruce of paint and uh, we've got a nice lovely undercover front entry area. We'll also introduce you to the new adapted truck Andy's demonstrated there. We've just recently bought some toolboxes for that and getting him set up. Coming along a dream, that big thing. Getting a tow ball installed today. But um, yeah, another job well done by Adapted Group. And uh, we'll, well see you Here next we time. are at Warner, and can you believe that that section of roof there has been added on by us at Adapted Group? We did fresh slab joining to the existing and then we built the frame and continued the roof line all the way through to the side of the garage and then tiled over the top matching the existing tiles and then built out a columns and the clients has since had them rendered and everything painted and it has just come up an absolute treat.